Okay, welcome back. Now, this is a continuation of question number eight, which I forgot to mention at the end of it. And I'm just going to put a link to this on the end of the video, the last video. So maybe you'd have caught it from there. But basically, um, I just wanted to show, uh, show you an alternative method of uh, finding the sum of these numbers. And um, I'll just get rid of all of this because it's on the other video anyway and show you another method as well. Okay, there's a couple of methods. Uh, the method I showed you here was it's kind of maybe the more obvious method once you've found the values of all the numbers, okay, of all the terms. Okay, so that's that would have been the more kind of, what would you say, obvious method. Okay, but if you had shown your steps like this, which is always a good idea to do, if you had this line over here, this column over here, then you could kind of come to um, another method of doing it. So for example, you can see that these these numbers are all either plus 3 or minus 3, plus 3 or minus 3, plus 3 or minus 3. So you're going to have like all together, um, you know, you're going to have a minus starting off with the minus 3, then plus 3, that will cancel out, give you 0. So these pairs will all become 0. So by the time you get to every even number, every even term, they become 0. Alright? These, these minus 3, plus 3, minus 3, plus 3, minus 3. So basically you're going to be left with in the end a minus 3. When you add them all together, these parts, you're going to get a minus 3. And then you've got the sum of numbers 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 25 plus 20 uh, plus 30 plus did it all the way up to 295. Okay, and we know that there's 59 terms. So we could use this, the sum of the first 59 terms is going to be 59 over 2 times the first term, which is 5, plus the last term which is 295 okay and then we can take away 3 from that we can take away the 3 from that and that should give us the same answer so let's see which was 8847 I think it was and this is a, a, a lot quicker actually if you so if you left it like this that would have been a lot quicker so you, let's just do 59 over 2 times whoops times and you got that's going to be 300 isn't it and it should be 8847 if we did and then minus 3 of course minus 3 and that gives you 8847 exactly the same answer and it's a bit quicker actually uh, whoops where's the pen gone 8847 so we got to the same answer with a lot less hassle because here we know there's 59 terms right away and we can we know we use the formula sn equals n over 2 times a plus l and we see that these pairs are going to cancel out and it's by the every even pair would have cancelled out to give you zero so you got you're left with the the, the last term is is an odd term it's 15 59th term so you're going to be left with a minus 3 so you have to take away 3 from the sum of all the numbers from 5 to 295 when they're going up in 5s. Okay, so that's a bit of a quick way. So there's always an advantage to, sh to lay out your work in this particular way. Instead of, if we had written just like, for example, if I just did the calculation without writing this out and just put 2, 13, 12, 23, 22, then we would have got used the first method that I used anyway. Um, it would have still been correct, but you won't be able to spot other types of patterns maybe that you can see clearly here. So it's always a good idea to uh, write things out in a systematic way, which is kind of like, you know, lined up like this in order so you can see patterns. In this type of question, you have to be looking for patterns in the numbers. Okay, so that's just an addition to uh, what we looked at in the last uh, video. Okay, I'm just going to add this as a separate kind of addition to it. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.